Back to Sol, who probably did think he was doing the right thing, but in reality, he was actually making choices that ultimately led to the destruction of the Witch Coven, the eventual deaths of his three other companions, and as Indara implied, the changing of the destiny of both of the twins thanks to his emotional choices. He took what Qui-Gon did with Anakin to a whole new level, but with even deeper emotions and convictions. Jin seemingly was always cool on the surface, even when others doubted his claims of the Chosen One and him needing to be trained. But Sol, on the other hand, really went out of his way to fulfill his need to have a Padawan with some odd instant connection to Osha. Sol really did seem like he instantly became attached to Osha after only seeing the twins at the tree interact for the first time. So I can get down with that feeling very odd, a bit rushed, and lacking additional insights into why he may have felt the need to form such a strong emotional connection with a stranger the moment he saw her. As much as we all may want to blame Torben for the actual disaster that took place on Brendock for rushing headlong to get the twins so he could go home, it was Sol that initially overstepped by spying on the witches, making assumptions about their customs, and then convincing the much more wise Indara that she should listen to him. 